Ladies and gentlemen, the president of Plotagonia. My fellow Plotagonians, I am speaking to you tonight from inside the purple office following an historic and at times monumental day in the history of our nation. Earlier today, while conducting research at a peculiar level, scientists at Booth University received a message which appeared to originate from outside of our universe. This message was not in any form of code and did not require any translation. The message consisted of three simple Plotagonian words. These three words, the first to be irrefutably proven to originate from outside our universe were Right dialogue here, since receiving this message the top minds in the nation have been brought in to try to determine where it comes from and what does it mean? The preeminent physicists Theologians and anthropologists have been asked to consider these two questions. I am sure that you will agree that this is an event which will go down as one of the greatest in the history of our young nation. Thank you everyone in Lucaster's blessed Lotagonia. Good evening. I am Steve Wachowski and welcome to this special edition of the News Hour. Write dialogue here. Three little words. Three words that may change our understanding of the world we live in forever. With me tonight is the eminent physicist Dr. Damien Drake. Hello Dr. Drake and thank you for being with us tonight. Thank you Steve. It's great to be here. And in our Seattle studio we have Nick Bishop renowned parapsychologist and writer of the best-selling book Disclosure Day One. Good evening. If I can come to you first Dr. Drake, what do you think this means? Well Steve, scientists have for a long time postulated about the possibility of a creator, and the involvement of this creator in the formation of our universe. To me this is the first evidence we have which corroborates this view. But what about the words themselves? Write dialogue here. What do they mean? We don't yet know. Some have speculated that it is a message to all Plotagonians to use their voice. To write their own story if you like. Thank you doctor. Turning to you now Nick Bishop. You have, for a long time, put forward the view that we are living inside of a computer generated simulation. How does today's announcement affect your theory of the nature of reality? Thank you Steve. Well I feel that tonight's announcement is entirely consistent with my own idea that we are, all of us, part of a computer generated reality in which our destinies are completely controlled by the entity I have described in my book as the director. Furthermore I believe that our government has been aware of this for some time but has been complicit in a cover-up to hide this information from the people. But Nick, you are aware that these conspiracy theories have been around for years and people like yourself are often considered to be cranks. The problem with these alleged cover-ups is the lack of evidence to back them up. But the evidence is there Steve. We have all had that experience that the words that we are saying aren't our own. That we have no control over our own actions. And in terms of evidence, what about the time the president appeared on television and shouted, and I quote, I'm a great big poo poo head and I stink of poo. Hey suckers. You are all living in a computer simulation so get over it. To be fair Nick that is a little disingenuous of you. If you recall that was satisfactorily explained by the government as being a mass hallucination on the part of everyone in the world due to a buildup of swamp gas and stray weather balloons. Sheesh. I can't argue with it logic. I'm out of here. Well I'm afraid that's all we have time for tonight. On a day when we made contact with an intelligence from outside our universe I leave you with these three words. Write dialogue here. <laughs>